BCN 3D made their mark on the 3D printing industry by being one of, if not the first, producer of independent dual extrusion 3D printers. Their lineup now consists of three different models tailored for general use 3D printing or the needs of an engineering enterprise. There are multiple factors for each printer that might affect how you are able to use them. So today, I have a helpful guide to walk you through comparing each of BCN 3D's Workbench and Desktop Series 3D printers. Let's jump into it. What's rather unique about BCN 3D printers is how comparable their build volumes are. Each BCN 3D printer has a build plate 420 millimeters wide and 300 millimeters deep, with the big difference coming in terms of height. As the D25 is part of BCN 3D's desktop series of 3D printers, it has a relatively short build height, whereas you can get quite a bit higher with the Workbench series, with build heights of 220 millimeters and 400 millimeters for the W27 and W50, respectively. If printing as tall as possible is the goal, then you can't beat the Epsilon W50, but if you're printing mostly short, flat things, then the Sigma D25 is enough 3D printer to get the job done. Just as with their build volume, the footprint between each printer is the exact same, 690 millimeters wide by 530 millimeters deep and in varying heights. These are not 3D printers for the faint of heart, as they are significantly larger than the 3D printers you might be used to seeing. Every machine is over two feet wide, so be prepared to find a suitable place for it to live in your workspace. The extruder setup for BCN 3D printers is identical. An E3D manufactured hot end fed by an extruder utilizing Bontech gears, a filament runout sensor, and the potential to feed filament into the extruder from within the machine or without. To really iron out the 3D printing experience, the hot ends have been designed to be easily removable from either of the print heads with only a couple bolts and some quick disconnect plugs. Then you can just drop in your new hot end using a different nozzle diameter or even the hot end X with E3D's abrasive resistant nozzle X already installed and select the right hot end through the menu to get settings straight. At the extruder, a machined aluminum housing encases dual drive Bontech gears with attached filament runout sensors. Below each sensor is a splitter, guiding filament from the internal filament mounting points for one kilogram or less spools, or from behind the printer for over one kilogram spools. As you may have noticed, a signature feature of every BCN 3D printer is that there are two print heads, not just one. IDEX, or independent dual extrusion, has two fully featured print heads that ride along the stainless steel crossbar, but each have their own dedicated motor driving their x-axis movements. Instead of a dual extrusion system with both nozzles on one print head, IDEX allows for the unused hot end to park off to the side, cool down and out of the way until it's called upon to get back to printing, where it will then purge into a purge bucket, wipe off the nozzle and resume printing. This entire process keeps the in-progress 3D print clean and free from any oozing or smearing from the unused nozzle. Alternatively, both nozzles can be used at the same time in duplication or mirror mode, with both print heads moved over the build plate and follow the same movements or mirrored movements to bring the power of two 3D printers into one body for ultimate batch printing potential. Because E3D manufactures every hot end, you know that they are made to the tightest tolerances, which means they aren't going to be simply PTFE lined, these are all metal hot ends. Print as high as 300 degrees Celsius with these hot ends without worry. In the two Epsilon 3D printers, the bed can easily reach as high as 120 degrees Celsius on their glass beds, but the Sigma D25 doesn't have quite the same power to reach that level and can instead max out at 80 degrees Celsius. This does mean that for the Sigma D25, ABS 3D printing is out of the question with a bed temperature that low, but it's still enough heat to reliably print with other engineering grade materials like PTG. When it comes to printing with high temperature materials, consistent temperature in every part of the process is imperative. Not only do you need the nozzle and bed to be at their optimal temperatures, you also need to make sure that the 3D print doesn't encounter any sudden drafts. An enclosure is the quickest answer for this problem. Simply lock all the hot air generated by the massive heated bed to passively heat the chamber to a toasty 60 degrees Celsius. This is a feature you'll only find in the Workbench series, so temperatures around your 3D prints with the Sigma D25 we need to be a little more careful to make sure parts don't warp and that layers stay stuck together. BCN 3D found their comfort zone with large glass plates. Each of the three printers features a huge piece of glass for the express purpose of being as uniformly flat as possible while also reliably spreading heat across its surface. A tube of original formula Magigo is included with every printer, but any other formulation works perfectly on these glass beds. With less bells and whistles, it's clear that the Sigma D25 is the least expensive of the bunch, and with its size and list of features, it's just as clear that the W50 will top the list. When it comes to price, it's really a judgment call based on what materials you know you need to use and which materials will make the difference in the success of your projects. While not directly a feature of these printers, the add-on smart cabinet is compatible with all of these BCN 3D printers. The smart cabinet is an all-inclusive unit that is perfectly sized to fit your Epsilon or Sigma, 
has wheels for easy relocation, a pull-out drawer for tools that doubles as a laptop stand, an uninterruptible power supply, and a humidity control drawer big enough for eight standard spools or four large spools. Keep in mind that the humidity chamber only works to prevent your filament from absorbing water in the first place, not reversing the absorption of it. IDEX is the feature that put BSAN 3D on the map, and when it gets down to it, there's no other like these three printers. Hopefully you have a much better understanding of the differences between BCN 3 ds latest innovations and can make an educated decision when choosing your own. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the Matter Hackers YouTube channel and find us at Matter Hackers on all your favorite social media platforms. To learn more and to order your independent dual extrusion BCN 3 d today, go to matterhackers.com.